You know what today is. You know what today is. That's right. Game day preview, baby. Let's get into it. P I M P, I believe I am. Uh -huh. K I N G, I'm gonna need my crown. Yes, sir. Move at light speed out my way. Welcome back. I'm your boy Scotty. You're watching off script. All right. Now, today's game day preview is the one and only Bayou Classic. Now, granted, this is the first game day preview that I've done for the Bayou Classic, and I'm honored. So, I'm not going to waste your time with the filth and the fluff. All I'm going to say is make sure you go to offscript-tv.com to get your merch and make sure you support the channel. All right. Also, I will be pre-gaming this game. It's just like my lives. You never know who's going to call in. Let's get into it. Starting with Gramlin. Listen, first things first, your defense has to set the tone. Your defense has to be all world. Your defense knows the matchup they're dealing with with Southern's O-line, with Southern's running game. You cannot come in this game and play around. They will bully ball you off the field. Once again, if you think you know how to run the ball, Southern does it 10 times better. All right? Number two, put the game on the quarterback. Do not, I repeat, do not let Devon Ben and the backup running back run wild on you. Because what you're going to do, brother, when Devon Ben and Skelton run wild on you, all right? That's, that's, yeah, that's my, that's my Hulk Hogan. But um, <laughs> make sure that you're keeping them in check and putting the game on the quarterbacks. All right, I'll say that again. Put the game on the quarterbacks. That includes Skelton and Lampley. All right. Make sure that Coach Odoms can't dictate the game with his run. And last but not least, you got to find the quarterback. You got to generate some points. I mean, that's just simple football. This is this is just so generically. I, I can't even really narrow down what you need to do because you have so many holes. But the only thing that you have going for you is your defense. So just find somebody to throw the ball that's decent, you know, that's efficient, that's serviceable, something. Please, just please. Southern, <laughs> listen, use that all-world line to do all-world things. <laughs> that's just, that's just that, that, listen, use that all-world line to do all-world things. Things. Them boys up front, listen, I've never been a fan of the big boy, but Southern's line, man, they need to be treated to Christmas dinners because they are legit. Do you hear me? All right. Number two, use Skelton and Lampley very loosely. All right. They should be interchangeable. Don't force your hand into going one way with that. If you have to start the game with Lampley, start the game with Lampley. If you want to start the game with Skelton, start the game with Skelton. Use as needed. Ain't that some medicine? That's on the medicine turn, right? That's my Southern medicine bottle is use as needed. That, that's how these quarterbacks should be used because at the end of the day, we all know what you want to do is run the ball. It's simple. Last but not least, defensively. What Gramlin does really well is spread you out. They have receivers for each position, especially number 17. He'll give you the wiggles, all right? So be conscious of your corners. I really feel as though if Gramblin gets a serviceable QB, they empty you out. They have ways to make chunk plays and get points and yards very, very easily and quickly. So be conscious of that. Also, one more thing before I get into my game day synopsis. Gramblin. Block Jordan Lewis. If you don't block nobody else on that D-line, block Jordan Lewis. This guy. Block him. Him. I'm begging you. Don't be JSU. 
okay? All right, real quick, game synopsis. With Grambling in flux as they are, and Southern being a well-run factory oiled machine, I would be crazy to pick against them. So I gotta go with Southern in the Bayou Classic. Now the score, because I feel like this is one of those games that somebody always, you know how like when your rivals in the league or the NFL, they always say, you know, when you do those inner conference matchups in the NFL, they always say they play that team very hard. So I think Graham is gonna play this team very hard because of the history, because of the passion behind the game and the pageantry, but it won't be enough. I have the score being 34-17. And I don't even think Graham is 17, if I'm being honest with you. I really want to go 34-10. Yeah, 34-10. 34-10. Nah, I like 34-17. 34-17. Even though I'm a little hesitant that they'll score two touchdowns, 34-17 is my is my prediction for Southern Grambling by you classic. Hey, listen, <laughs> don't be mad at me, Grambling fans. Be mad at Coach Fobbs. Because he done did this to himself. And I ain't been wrong yet, so. But appreciate you guys for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Yes, you do. And until next time, you know what I'm going to do. I'm a holler. God bless you grambling that you don't get your butt whooped. P-I-M-P, I believe I am uh -huh. K-I-N-G, I'ma need my crown yes, sir. Move at light speed out my way, goddamn Stop. Get out the way, you gotta get out the way